Good afternoon, class. I'm going to tell you about the frog's life cycle. Okay, tell me what is a frog actually. Then I'll tell you the frog life cycle. It's an animal. Yes. What kind of animal is it? Where does it live? Well, it lives both in water and land. Okay, pond water or ocean water? Mm, can be both. Yes, that's right. Okay, so let's go to our um, frog life cycle. The mother frog lays her eggs. Mm -hmm. When she lays, there are different shapes, different species, and different colors. Oh. And they float in the surface of the pond on a leaf. But there's one problem. What's the problem? Some fishes eat the eggs. Oh no. That's why the mother frog lays hundreds of eggs. Like hundreds of eggs um, are laid by the mother frog. And rain also destroyed some eggs. Fishes eat, eat 20 eggs. Mm hmm. Okay. So after a few weeks, they hatch into a tadpole. Tadpole? Tadpole. What's it's that? like a fish, but not too much like a fish. It's a little like a fish. And it has tail, but did you know what's the similarity? Their face looks the same, but they can. The fish's tail is like this. Like this shape. It's mm. like a. V shape, mm -hmm. upside down V shape, like a mermaid tail shape. Mm -hmm. But the tadpole's tail is like just like a curved triangle. Mm -hmm. And they they eat lots of food from their tails. Oh, interesting. But some fishes also eat this kind of little tadpoles. So see. Four here, but when they get their back legs here, at this stage there are only three or only one. Oh, sad. Mm -hmm. So then they get back legs and then they get front legs. Then after a few weeks they become into a frog leg. It's like a frog baby. Mm -hmm. But mm, it's like a frog. Baby, it's like a like when you go to university. How how do humans go to university? That stage. Oh, I see. Like it's like this: born baby, then it's a child. Mhm. Mm it become into a teenager, an adult. I mean, I mean, teenagers. Mhm. Mm then into a adult. Okay, I understand. So, what's the difference between froglet and a frog? Hmm. Well, there is one thing only different. See, frogs don't have tail when they become into adult frog. Oh. Froglets have tail a little bit. Hmm? Mm -hmm. And then when they grow up, they keep doing that life cycle in their whole life. And what do the, uh, those elder uh, adult frog eat? Do you know? Insects. Oh. Have you ever noticed how are their tongues? Long. Long? Mm -hmm. mm. It's, it's like an insect there. And... Uh. Okay. It's a nice life cycle, RJ. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to tell about you the three different life cycles. I mean the two different life cycles that we learned plus one. One more about turtles. The first one we learned is butterfly, right? So do you know what's the difference about these three? Well, it is one different thing. See, when the butterfly is baby born, it doesn't born like a butterfly. It born like a caterpillar. Then it becomes a butterfly, right? And same to frog. When the frog's baby born, they born to a tadpole, then to an adult frog. But, do you know what's the different thing about turtles? When the mother turtle lay her eggs, they, the babies directly hatched, hatched to a baby turtle. And these 
teenager men into an adult. Like us, we born from a baby to a child, then a teenager, adult, and old age. That's what the difference about the these different life cycles. Now today I will tell the frog's life cycle. First, and details. First, the mother frog will lay an egg. Lay an egg. Then, um, her kids, her kids will turn into a arpion. After then, they will turn to tadpole. Then they will turn to Tatspaw with the two legs. After her after they will be froglets, they they will be frog again. Their tails will be gone and it will go it will go after and it will go around. It means cycle and frog Frog. Frog don't eat when they are froglets. At this time, they keep food in their tail. This one. They keep food over here to tail. Thank you. A dot. Frog mother gathers two small pet parts at about fourth day. Small pet parts change first. Grow hardy length, sim grow full length. Tia quickly shortened and the sun away disappeared at the time. Tempers had flipped into small frogs to the water and the and to continue to be into big frogs from from small to big development process is the metamorphic set of thank you goodbye and snap I love you. Hello, everyone. I'm Mark. Pop, 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 the pop, rock. Eagle, tick, tick. Coke, 
Vierkum Christmas. Vierkum Christmas. Maus. Maus. Apple. Apple. Sieg. Sieg. Frog Life Cycle 的玩具，首先是由蛋，那个叫 egg 组成 egg， 然后再一些谁生的 egg， 然后是青蛙生的 egg， 然后呢，青蛙宝宝就说蝌蚪，先长了后腿。嗯，你知道为什么它一定要长尾巴，慢慢的没有吗？是因为这里尾巴是用来储存食物的
，然后首先先长后腿，然后才能长前腿。但是它的尾巴还是有的的，它们还没有形成小青蛙，只是 t a b l e 然后在 froglet 这里还是尾巴有的，然后慢慢的才能形成小青蛙，然后再去吃害虫了。我想出一些小青蛙 life cycle 的问题，来给你们回答哦，谢谢。Fish undergo various life stages throughout their lifetime, similar to humans who have six life stages altogether, from fetus, baby, child, adolescent, adult, and old person. Fish too experience six stages in their life cycle. The origin of fish life begins from a simple small egg. Eggs that have been fertilized from a male and female fish will develop into embryo. The hardened eggs will hatch once the conditions are appropriate, which means temperature plays an important role in determining the egg hatching time. The embryo refers to the stage where fish is still unable to feed itself. The food for the embryo comes from the mother either directly through the egg yolk or indirectly through the blood. Embryonic stage could be divided into two: inside and outside of egg. In both stages, the general characteristic is where the embryo still nourishes itself through the nutrients from the mother. Once hatched, the head will come out first, followed by the tails, as the embryo needs to push itself to come out easily. Now, once the egg hatches, larva will emerge. Larva stage also defined by two stages: pre-larva and post-larva. Pre-larva is when the yolk is still intact on the body, and fish will rely on the yolk until it is fully absorbed. So the period for post-larva is in between the hatching until the end of yolk absorption. 
Some organs begin to develop during this stage and it will start searching for food from outside. Zooplankton are among the usual dietary requirements for post larvae stage. Then the juvenile will take place once the fish looks like miniature adult. Nearly all internal organs and fin have fully developed, although coloration may look different from the adult stage. During this phase, the young fish will require a high percentage of protein content in their diet as they will literally live to eat and grow. Once the functional gonad already fully developed, it will be the end of their juvenile life stage. Adulthood begins when the reproduction capability is fully functional. It will begin with the first maturing of gonad and end when it no longer could reproduce. Changes of color pattern, spawning behavior, and secondary character in certain species will clearly observed during this period. The adulthood could be the longest phase in many fish life as it can last for many years. The final stage is the senescence, in which fish will stop reproduce. By this time, due to the old age, the growth rate is slowing down and it may last for only a few hours just like salmon or might be several years such as in sturgeon. So that's how a fish undergo a full cycle of life. Isn't it amazing? If you think it is, why not thumbs up this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so we could share much more amazing stories of our fishes. Until then, thank you for watching and see you next time. Sea turtles are ancient mariners. Present in all but Earth's coldest oceans, these marine reptiles are well adapted to a life on the move. Sea turtles have existed since the time of the dinosaurs. The earliest known marine turtle lived about 120 million years ago. Named Desmatochilus padeli, it was six feet long and had the characteristic features of modern sea turtles, including a carapace or top shell and paddle-like limbs. Today, there are seven species of sea turtles, with the largest being the leatherback. Growing as long as eight feet and weighing up to 2,000 pounds, it is larger than known fossils of its prehistoric ancestor, D. padeli. Sea turtles can lay more than 150 eggs at a time. Called the clutch, these large egg deposits help ensure the survival of sea turtle hatchlings. Once a female lays her eggs, she returns to the sea, leaving her hatchlings to fend for themselves. Fewer than 0.1% of hatchlings survive to adulthood, in part due to numerous predators on the beach. Emerging in large numbers increases the chance that some will survive. A sea turtle's sex is determined by temperature. Unlike most vertebrates, a sea turtle's sex is not determined by sex chromosomes. Instead, the temperature of the nest determines the sex of the hatchlings. When temperatures are warm, at about 88 degrees Fahrenheit, most of the hatchlings will be female. But when temperatures are cooler, less than around 82 degrees Fahrenheit, most of the hatchlings will be male. Sea turtles use Earth's magnetic fields to navigate. Sea turtles have geomagnetic abilities, which serve as an internal GPS. The turtles have particles of magnetite, a magnetic mineral, in their brains. The magnetite likely plays a role in orienting sea turtles to Earth's magnetic poles, similar to a compass. Baby sea turtles imprint on the unique magnetic signature of the beaches where they hatch. This magnetic map can guide them back to the same beaches several years later to lay their own eggs. All seven sea turtle species are threatened with extinction. Once abundant, sea turtle populations have dramatically declined in the past two centuries. Fishing is a major threat to sea turtles as they become caught in fishing nets as bycatch or accidental catch. Illegal harvesting of turtle eggs, trafficking in turtle products, and ocean pollution are also concerns. However, policies have been enacted to reduce bycatch, 
protect turtle habitats, and prohibit the killing of sea turtles and their eggs. By continuing this kind of intervention, humans can help stop the decline of sea turtles, helping keep these ancient mariners in the world's oceans. <laughs>